My VTuber is African. She was born in uh, the bottom of the Gulf of Guinea. <laughs> Uh, cause she's a mermaid. Uh, well, she's a Jingu, which is an African mermaid. Um, and she was born in a die, born to a dying race. Her race is, was dying off and her parents actually died really early on. Yay. Look at that. Her parents died early on. So she was pretty much alone for a lot of her childhood, her youth. And then eventually she just got curious she just got tired of being alone and she just like i'm gonna i'm gonna go see what's up with the surface and so she swam up to the surface of the water and emerged in the middle of the gulf of guinea right outside of it was right along the the, the west coast of africa the western coast of africa and so she pretty much was pretty curious she was just like this is this is weird this is weird so she went to the shore i am a mermaid i am well, a, a jungle, but hopefully I don't have to qualify it with, with that for too much. If I can get a little bit more popular, then maybe I don't have to qualify it every time. Um, but damn it, bastard. There we go. Ah, dude, dick, dick, dick. Okay, there we go. Is there another one? No, it's just a head. Anywho, before I was so rudely interrupted by these bony men. Let me, I have to drop something. Drop that and pick that up. So anyway, uh, she emerged and went to, oh, should I fight him? He looks too strong. I don't think I should. I'm actually really hurt. Let me, uh, let me eat some shroomies. Let me eat some shrooms. Ow, nom, 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 nom. One more. Oh, I can't eat that. Ow, nom, 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 nom. And, and one more. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm underwater and um, I've figured out through the power of magic how to operate a streaming setup underwater. <laughs> that is, that I, I, it wasn't easy. It wasn't an easy thing to do, but I figured it out. Wait, can I not pick that up? I thought I, I want that, but I want that. But I want that. Wait, hold on. You're gonna, you're gonna let me have that. This game, you're gonna let me have that game. You're gonna let me have that rusty halberd. I don't even care that it's rusty. I just want it. I figured out through the ways of magic. Are they gonna fight me? Ha! Got me. Ha! You see those guys? Where am I even? I'm like in a new area. I need to go climb a tower. You see any towers nearby? Oh my god. Oh, they're fucking. Oh, they're they're aggro on me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, why is there so much? Why are there so many dangerous things? Why are there so many dangerous things? Oh my god. What? Oh, oh, run. Oh my god. Just run. Just run. Just run. Oh my god. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the follow, chicken. Oh, Thank this. you. I am getting chased by bats. I'm getting chased by eyeless, one eyed bats. I don't know where I'm going. I need to find a tower. They're not okay. They're not chasing me anymore. Stop whistling. Stop whistling. All right. So, after getting the surface, she goes run. <laughs> just, just keep running. Just keep fucking running. Just keep fucking running. Oh my god. Oh god. There's more. Oh god. There's more. Look at their eyes. They're red. Oh my god. This is not a safe place for a small person like me, like Link. This is not, there's everybody so hostile. Behind you. Oh, oh, oh my God. Run faster and sprint and, and, and sprint and run and also sprint though. Okay, are they still chasing? No, stop whistling. That's why they keep coming back. Okay. Anywho, so she goes to the surface um, and meets a whole bunch of creatures that had feet. And that was weird to her because everyone she'd ever met had a tail. So she got a bit, she eventually got over that when she started to realize that maybe she might have been she might have been the minority having a tail that most people probably have feet. So she just hung out with them a little bit. She couldn't get out of the water or anything, but she hung out with them. And she realized 
when she sang to them or when she you know told a joke and made them laugh they they got happier like they their demeanor totally changed like her her personality is just infectious and her smile and her 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 voice her voice just healed them it healed them of their physical maladies she had magic she was able to do that that's what she found out but it also just made them not so sad anymore it made them smile so when she realized she had this ability she kept going back she had to leave of course so she could go back to her home down under the sea but she would go back every day for centuries every single day and sing to these people and and tell them jokes and just perform for them and just and entertain them you know um and she did that for centuries she did that for, she did that for centuries i know right is this a sweet story it's such a sweet story it's so wholesome so then centuries later she went back up to her normal trip and she noticed that the mortals kind of stopped coming to see her you know like they, they they were just coming less and less um and she didn't really know why so then one day she found this weird object on the beach when she went to the surface and and she didn't know what the hell it was but later she found out it's it was called a smartphone who knew I, it, what the hell is that i don't know that she didn't know what that is um well she was able to get into the smartphone somehow somehow maybe it was her bubbly demeanor the smartphone just decided i'm gonna let you inside of me hey <laughs> phrase it <laughs> And, and she discovered something, this, this insane technology called the internet. It was just, it blew her mind. What the hell is that? I don't want, I don't want, I don't want any of that. I don't want any, I don't want that smoke. Go around that, go around that. No, no, Link, stop wrestling. So, <laughs> that, that's the, oh, he's gonna see me. Just do a wide berth, wide berth, wide berth, wide berth, wide berth, all the way around, all the way around. We're not, we're not gonna fight that. I don't think I can do that. Why am I going toward Ganondorf? Isn't that, wh where? Stop whistling. Oh, do you see? There's one right there. There's a tower. Guys, why'd you tell me? There's a tower. Ooh, shell phone. That's good. I'm gonna have to use that. Shell phone. Anywho, so she discovered this thing called the internet and it, and it amazed her how, how big the world was she thought that all of the mortals in the world were just on the coast of africa and the beaches of cameroon and and ghana you know like she had no idea how huge the world was but at the same time it broke her heart how unhappy the world was on this internet she realized there are millions and millions and millions of people all over the world that are unhappy and it broke her heart so she decided, she decided that she was going to use this internet and spread her happiness and her joy and her jokes and her singing and all of these things that made those people happy for centuries. She's going to spread it to the world. So she decided to become a, a YouTuber, an idol. Oh my God, I'm going to die. Ah, ah, oh God. Oh no, that's going to kill me. That's going to kill me. Okay, Woo. now climb. So that's the story of Ungozi Mai. 